Okay, so here we have our completed um, trouser. Um, so we have the nice front pocket there. You can see the different, uh, the blue is the facing. You can kind of see it um, through the front. Um, and then the, the purple is the bottom of the, the side body piece. So you've got all your pieces there. And that's how they sew up to complete the front piece. And, and then we had, of course, our uh, patch pocket, which we sewed onto the back and the yoke. So here are the um, pattern pieces cut out. So you can see the back uh, trouser and the yoke. Um, bit and that is the pocket so that would go there so that would be the back trouser uh, sort of jean style pattern pieces and then the um, front trouser is here and the side body piece that would go there and this I have in the end divided this into two sections it could be just one um, and then they go there so that would be done in lining fabric this would be the outer fabric and then this um, would go here and sew to that there and we'll sew to this along here okay so this is the bit here that's generally uh, quite confusing for people um, but yeah they're all the pieces okay so we're ready to go the next step is to just snip all of the notches so all, every single um, seam extension I'm going to snip um, any extra notches these two are going to sew together they're a curve so I needed a notch there um, and hip notches and everything so all of them will be snipped and then these will be tailor tacked these positions of the, the pocket so now we have our um, pattern piece is kind of prepared um, everything's been snipped this back trouser uh, position of the pockets have been tailor tacked um, and so now it's a matter of what we start first and what you need to do when you're doing trousers and most garments is sew up a full front um, and then you sew up a full back and then you sew things together that's often a a, a way to go um, so and certainly in this case that's what you do so um, pockets are easier to put on when the garment is not three-dimensional okay so when it's flat so um, I would start in this case possibly probably very first thing would be um, preparing this pocket so that would mean um, folding in all the seam allowances and pressing it getting it all organized and stitching it on to the back before get the, this gets sewn onto anything else. So um, stitch the pockets on and then stitch the back to the uh, yoke. So then I'd have a, um, uh, like each side, so a left side and a right side to the yoke. So I'd have two back legs. And then uh, for the front, I would um, start by there's all the different pieces so this is the side body piece it is in two pieces so I would sew that together um, and then this piece sews to to here so um, this bit lines up here but underneath and gets sewn there okay and then these two uh, sew together under here joining um, and that joins them together and then you can tack along here and here and it would be the waistband that kind of holds them together along there. Um, but that's kind of the general just overview of what you would do and now we'll do it step by step. So now I have the pocket shape um, pressed back so there was a little tailor tack there just to mark the kind of because there was a little point and just measured back 1.5 and pressed round, pressed it all in. 
Uh, the top one was folded in 0.5 and then pressed uh, 1.5 down. So this will be stitched along here first and then that thing will be, uh, the whole pocket will be stitched onto the trouser. Now, um, it's a good idea to always place your pattern pieces, like if you have um, a trouser leg, you want to uh, place them kind of say like that. So you have two opposite ones right next to each other. Because otherwise you could possibly make the mistake of making um, two right side trouser legs, you know. Um, so it's it's important to kind of lay your pieces out um, so that they're in opposites so that you don't make that mistake. So then you line this up with the um, tailor tacks and um, well actually first we're going to stitch along here then I'm going to line it up and stitch all along here. Now if this was really um, denim you'd be using maybe your top stitching thread and you might even do two rows and things like that. But this demonstration um, video is mainly just to help you with the order um, that you would sew up jeans or trousers or any, any, yeah, any trousers that have pockets. And this is an example of a patch pocket. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna give you the kind of general way to do it and it's not really um, relating to the fabric. Okay, so this is now just stitched across uh, there and I'm going to remove the uh, tacking and place it, pin it in place. this will just get top stitched in around and I'm just going to stitch very closely along the edge of the pocket and that's how um, patch pockets are uh, sewn. You just stitch very close to the edge. Um, you don't want to actually go to be pushing yourself to be so 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 close if you do that, you'll just keep coming off the edge and it looks worse. So, you know, especially when you're beginning, you know, a millimetre or two in and being consistent is actually um, better than being, you know, half a millimetre in and then keep being, falling off the edge, you know. So um, that's what I think anyway. I think um, it just looks, it just needs to be close to the edge. One millimetre is excellent. But if that's too hard, even two millimetres in and just being consistent is um, maybe a, a good way to go. Okay, so I'm stitching on the patch pocket here, um, starting in this corner. Now, a lot of time, again, um, you might do little reinforcements on corners, especially, say, the back pocket of the jeans. There might be, um, like, so a little triangle or um, a bit of a bar tack or something like that to, to reinforce it, if, depending on the fabric. this demonstration like I said I'm, I'm, I'm mainly focusing on just getting all the steps down so we're just going to go through um, and continue to sew straight along the edge come to that edge maybe you use your manual feed just to get your needle um, right in the right position and you can lift up and pivot you can check it out when I lift it up I can see I need to be one more stitch actually I think further along a bit dicey even from nearly off the edge but you can kind of manually maneuver it so it's in a good position and Pivot. Okay. And again, when you come to that lower point, it might be worth sticking the needle in. And I think one more. And then you can pivot. 
ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂತೇಳಿ Okay, so I'm pivot here and just do a couple of stitches and pivot again. just the little triangle kind of um, thing that kind of secures it a bit more. There's a lot of pressure on the corners of pockets, so you can do that on both sides. All right, so that shows just the stitching is, um, in this case, you know, I did manage to get it pretty close to the edge, one millimeter away all the way along, so that's ideal um, if you can manage that. So here is the yoke piece for the back the trouser and I've just placed it right side to right side and I'm going to stitch down along there so I've just pinned it there and there so you be sure and line up your notches if you've notched all your seam allowances there should be a nice um, notches lining up there to let you know you've pinned it correctly and there That's the yoke for the trouser and be sure and press that um, open. As you sew on this curve, it's a little tricky, you just want to be sure um, that you're not um, creating any um, tucks by letting the fold, fo fabric fold on either side, the top or the bottom, so it's best to kind of inch along um, and just only sew a small bit at a time, checking all the time that the next little bit in front of your um, presser foot has no tucks in it. And then stop, rearrange. And um, what I'm doing here is I'm pulling this fabric because I can feel it's bunching up and wanting to make a tuck there. Um, So stitching and stopping, arranging the fabric all the time it might be a little hard to see exactly what I'm doing and I'm going a little bit fast, um, but hopefully, the, hopefully there was no tucks, so I'll notice or we'll see when we turn it around. And yeah, that's okay, that's just a piece of string. Okay, so it can be... Um, Harder than you think to make to to serve uh, to to sew a, a curved uh, shape like that. It's all about the pinning of it and carefully guiding it uh, through. But you can see at the 1.5 where it's sewn, it does match, even though one seam allowance is much bigger than the other. Okay, so here is our side body piece um, sewn together. Um, you can see it there. I did. Uh, 
do some snips and press it open and then press it back down so it's all prepared and now the next piece is um, this pocket bag piece that will sew along here so if I just remove the patterns this is going to um, I'm placing it there because I'm going to stitch along here and it's going to fold in and end up um, here at the back and then that will come here okay so this is, this is a little bit easier of a curve because you've got the two same curves and they're going to stitch uh, together so you just literally stitch it there but then you do need to do a lot of snips with the scissors um, and have it turn back over and then we need to do an under stitch so this is sewn here now and we need to um, turn it back and you can see it won't want to cooperate with us it's got all this tension and what that is is the uh, seam allowance here um, it can't fold back on itself, it's not big enough, um, so you need to cut s snips in, into the seam allowance like this. And you see that will help it um, uh, fold back. So this seam allowance is too narrow to fold back and sit there, but now once you do the snips you see you can um, fold it back open like that or back on itself and these uh, little spaces will open now you start with just a few snips and then um, if it still is tensiony and you can't get it to sit right you put in more snips or you snip further in or you just keep working with your snips until it sits but you see the way that's sitting better now nearly there so I've just done a few more snips just at the very deep part of the curve so that hopefully when I flip this back and all of a sudden can you see the difference now just whoop does it no problem now um, and now I need to press this seam open okay things always need to get pressed open first and then um, pressed back so I'm going to press it open and then we're going to do what's called an understitch so you can see that this um, and it's handy that it's blue, it just sort of shows you how um, it peeps out a little, it's, it's hard to get it to sit back so it's important to have a, a particular stitch called an understitch which holds that back underneath. So now I have this front trouser and our pocket bag, I've pressed um, this nicely open, the seams nicely slipped, nicely pressed open and now I'm going to do what's called an understitch so it's going to be a little stitch that's stitched right um, a couple of millimetres away from this edge and um, you sew the two sides of the seam allowance so then you grab the seam allowances over um, and you stitch it, stitch through this um, and through the seam allowances and it, it just does this magic thing where it holds the edge back so I don't usually pin this um, bit because you'd have to put a million pins for all the snips so um, I'm just usually very careful and I go slow and steady and keep um, swiping under with my hand to be sure that all of the little uh, pieces that have been snipped are over to the correct size. So it is actually in a way a top stitch onto the lining fabric which is the blue fabric in this case and you are stitching only um, a millimetre over or two so the placement of it is important uh, if you you want it to be very close if you can like a millimetre is obviously ideal um, if you if if you stitch so close that you're nearly in that seam then it doesn't work it doesn't hold it back so um, but if you stitch too far in it, hold, it creates tension we've already snipped through the tension and then you're sewing it back uh, sewing the tension back in so so it is important to be just about one millimeter away and I constantly putting my hand in and swiping under to be sure both sides of the seam allowance are caught if they're not again it won't work it won't hold it back so I'm only doing three or four stitches at a time you can see all these want to go the opposite way so I'm just really making sure um, that they are 
pulled in the correct direction. And this is a curve as well. I want to be sure that I'm moving the fabric away so I'm not creating any tucks. So you have to keep pushing it and just wiping underneath. there we go that's the under stitch it's a tiny little stitch that's just very close to the thing now for some reason my stitch length had gone very long so that looks a little bit peculiar but um anyway you could see that when you took it back it just magically holds that um fabric back underneath and that's why it's called an under stitch it keeps things under and we get a lovely edge there um so that's that's that bit done Okay, so now I have the front trouser. Um, mine is just a little shorts, but this uh, trouser um, pocket and this pocket bag sewn on. And then that's the other side of the pocket bag and the side body. So they're going to line up if I, if I place them like that and um, arrange them. These two, the blue and the purple uh, fabrics line up. And I will sew um, along that line and yeah, and then they'll be attached at the bag. So that's the next step. Okay, so the pocket bags are sewn together underneath. So just um, I just made sure that this was lined up with that notch, the pocket notch, and this was here, um, and then the inside you see you have this whole bit here and you just I just sewed all that um, together and so now um, I have a pocket all right and um, this lines up here at the side um, and uh, we'll be ready to place our back so here's um, the back of the trouser and we can place this, these are the two side seams uh, together and I'll be able to sew along that side and um, I would sew here, obviously if it was a long trouser it would continue to go down and the same likewise on this, you could then sew your two legs up. Okay, so now we're sewing the um, side seams of the trouser together. So that is the side of the trouser and I'm going to then sew the inseam together here and here. Um, and so that is yet the order of sewing for the um, jeans or any trouser style really I mean if you have slacks you might have a different angle of the pocket and you might have a maybe a jeet pocket at the back and a different angle here but in terms of the pocket bag and all the pieces it's the same and in terms of the order you would still do the trouser um, sorry you'd still do the back pocket on the back before you attach it you still do all the um, front pocket work um, before you attach the front and back together um, and then you would do the same on the other leg. You'd make a whole second leg. So you have a left leg and a right leg. And then, it's only then when you have the two that you would sew them up uh, along here. 
um, and do the fly or whatever is needed and then the waistband. <laughs>